So interestingly, you're having two dropout stories today. That's the most interesting thing. Um, I think the subsection of my talk today is from dropouts to global talents. And really, I just discovered that it's been almost a decade since I made the decision to leave FUTA. Um, I was a physics and electronics student in FUTA. And my first interaction with computer science was when I was at the lab. And there was this weird guy, I think he was in 500 level doing his masters. And he was working on his laptop. And so I saw him write some funny colored stuff and then go slide his laptop to a different window and refresh and it changed. And I saw him do it like a couple of times and it caught my interest. And so I asked him what he was doing then. And so he said that he was building an application for his school. And that was all. Then two years later, a friend of mine wanted to build a website in Ireland for Futa. And he was billed about 80K or so. And this is like 2014-ish. And so 80K was a lot of money then. I think my allowance then in months was like 1.5 thereabouts-ish. So it was a lot of money. And so I went back to the lab. And coincidentally, I met that guy. And so the guy gave me his courses. He gave me a couple of PDFs. I went home. My dad had like one very old laptop. I stole the laptop, came back to Futa. Within three months, the laptop broke down. And so I had to sell like a number of stuff I had to get like, I, I don't know if anybody here knows the mini HP system. So the very small old style HP system. And so that was what I was using until the point where I just got tired with school and I just left school. By then I left school and that was before the last semester exam I did. My CGP was a, I think it was a 3.6 or a 3.7-ish or so. So I didn't drop out with a 2-1, sorry, with a 2-2 or a third class. I had a 2-1 and I was 100% going to leave school with a 2-1. That was sure. But the key thing that made that whole decision and process easy for me, and that's one of the things I want to sell today, is my naivete. That was like the most important thing I had. And so my philosophy is that ignorance is the best place to land. Ignorance is the first starting point. Um, to thrive in this economy, you must get to a point where you are one with your ignorance, you're vulnerable enough to accept that you don't know stuff, and you're vulnerable enough to ask for help. You're vulnerable enough to keep researching, you're vulnerable enough to keep moving forward. And that ignorance fuels hunger and grit. The biggest lesson I have learned in the past 10 years is if I should sum it to two words, it would be hunger and grit. It would be to wake up every morning after your aunties, your uncles, everybody you know. Interestingly, my dad did his PhD in Lasso. So I've been to Lasso a couple of times for conferences here in Lasso. And so in one of the conferences I came for with my dad, I had conversations with some of his professors. I was just out of school then, and I had to defend why I was out of school. I lost the argument, of course. I was very naive and stuff. But still then, naivete was one of the best things that helped me. And so far to this point, one of the things that is easy for me to accept is that I don't know stuff. I find ignorance very, very appealing. I, two years ago, I started playing tennis. Last year, I started a boxing class. Um, I attended swimming, but COVID happened and I stopped. I learned how to swim about two years ago, and I ran about 19 kilometers in the first four months. That was during COVID. So I always find myself in places where I'm starting from ground zero, and I'm using that burst of energy to just keep acquiring knowledge, to just keep learning stuff. On weekends, I'm on YouTube watching videos about first-class cabins all over the world. I really do not see myself in a first-class cabin in the next two years. But I don't know anything about flights. And so I just go online, just watch videos to just learn stuff. So the best thing anybody here can actually do for themselves to thrive in this economy, in this ever-changing economy, where today is AI, tomorrow is blockchain, next tomorrow is block, next tomorrow is NFTs, and afterwards, everybody's talking about natural language processing. It's JavaScript today, content writers are using ChatGPT today, tomorrow designers are using um, generative AI tools. The most fundamental thing to always have and to always keep is your oneness and your happiness with ignorance. It is a good thing to not know stuff because it gives you the opportunity to acquire knowledge and to grow. Thank you very much.